It started with a gun salute. And a wreath laying at the Eternal Light Flagstaff Memorial in Madison Square Park. Then the 103rd annual New York City Veterans Day Parade kicked off. Today's importance is uh, honoring our, our veterans, you know, to include myself. And it's, it, I, I take great pride in that. And this is the largest Veterans Day parade in the country. More than 20,000 marchers and more than 280 marching units. But it's a parade that organizers say almost faded away in the 1980s. This parade almost went extinct. If it were not for a handful of Vietnam veterans that said, no, that will not happen, and they, they stood up the charter for the United War Veterans Council and took the parade over. This year, the parade is back in full force for the first time since the pandemic. The Grand Marshal, Master Chief Petty Officer of the Coast Guard, Vince Patton, the first black American to hold that prestigious title. There are 17.4 million veterans in this country. And this parade, the granddaddy of them all, the way I look at it is that this is the Veterans Parade of the country. Among the spectators, Kaylin Ray from South Carolina. As a Coast Guard wife, she says she's glad that people are here to show their support for those who have served our country. To see what all the people that are sacrificing and serving their country, because they don't see it every day. And of course, I had to know what the Grand Marshal thought about the nonstop raining on his parade. In the United States Coast Guard, most people need to be rescued in bad weather. So we Coasties consider this day a fine Coast Guard day. <laughs> <laughs> Along the parade route on Fifth Avenue, Eileen La Palmer, Pix 11 News.